The name of the book is Cure Constipation Now, a doctor's fiber therapy to cleanse and heal. And it's about constipation. Constipation is everywhere. And the problem is people don't realize they have a problem. You know, uh, high blood pressure, cholesterol cuts across the country. Constipation is the same thing. Actually, it's even more prevalent. Uh, our country, entire country basically is constipated. Uh, if food tastes good, why does it have a bathroom odor? And people think bathroom odor is normal, but food's got to rot inside. Um, and the book's about how to take care of the problem, how to recognize it, and all the other things that go in. Well, we know for a fact that a good, uh, that uh, the high fiber diet helps prevent cardiovascular disease. Uh, that, there's no question about that. It prevents gallbladder problems. It helps acid reflux. And the book talks about people who are able to stop all their medicines for the reflux once they got on a good fiber program. That's all a fact. We know it prevents colon cancer. That's fact. Uh, we know it helps prevent uh, even varicose veins and hemorrhoids. If you're straining in the bathroom, you're putting pressure on the venous system, and that causes hemorrhoids and varicose veins to form. The book uh, dabbles in the speculation that fiber prevents cancer and Alzheimer's, and I approach it from, uh, from a historical perspective. When I first got to Bolivia in 1987 doing mission work, mission trips, I was seeing uh, probably 150, 200 patients each year, and only saw one lady in her 80s the first six trips with cancer of the pancreas. The next six trips, I saw 20 people with cancer, all types of cancer. Uh, think of your body as an aquarium. Uh, uh, you're going to absorb certain things through your GI tract and everything. How do you get it out? Uh, one is ways through your urine, but the other way is to get it through your bile. There's a circulation called the enteropathic circulation where the liver makes bile, it goes down, helps you to digest your food, and then absorb it. Well, fiber scrubs that bile. There's three types of fiber. Over here are fruits and vegetables, and they're really not a good source of fiber. Try eating a chef's salad the night before. Don't get much bathroom results the next day. Uh, Bran and Metamucil are too harsh on the system. I've had people year after year tell me Bran and Metamucil tears them up. In the middle of the synthetic fiber, these are natural products, but they've been altered chemically. Uh, that's Citrusel and Benny fiber. And because they've been altered chemically, they're easier on the system. And I look at using uh, the synthetic fiber like a tricycle, get people started with the idea of eventually getting them onto a 10 speed bike. And when you get the 10 speed, then you can move around to brand, you move to oatmeal, and this sort of thing. But a lot of, I had a lady today just tell me that she can't do fiber because it just tears her stomach up. And so that's one concept is that you use the right kind of fiber, which is synthetic type of fiber. And that's step one. Step two is the uh, when you're getting those bathroom results that are so necessary to achieve, then you move over to step two, which is part synthetic fiber and part regular natural fiber like brand and Metamucil. Uh, but the whole running through this process before we get to step three is the fact that most people need a laxative. People have been constipated for so many years, uh, decades if you will, that you just can't go into fiber. Fibers are very weak laxative, and so people have to add an osmotic laxative like milk of magnesia, it's Miralax, it's prunes. Uh, so I have people, not, I tell them not to be afraid of laxatives. If you need to get those bathroom results up to snuff, and that's several stools a day is what I'm talking about, uh, that so be it. And don't be afraid of laxatives and realize if you need it, you're gonna need to stay on it for several months, if not longer. And step three is when I move them over to all kinds of, of natural fiber entirely. Uh, that's bran, that's metamucil, that's oatmeal, that's inulin, and this sort of thing. These are, are easy on the system, and they're better laxatives, but if you just, just try to start out in fiber, you're just going to run into a hit of wall. Uh, you really need to start slow and kind of ease yourself. And each step, it takes about four to eight weeks for most people, sometimes even longer. Uh, there was a laxative on the market 20 years ago that caused lax dependency. Uh, the more this lax you took, the more you had to take, the worse the constipation got. Well, it eventually got taken off the market, and it cast a long shadow. And the shadow is that everybody in the country is afraid of taking laxatives. They just think that things ought to happen naturally, when in reality, 100 years ago and 1,000 years ago, people went to the bathroom regularly several times a day. They worked hard all day long. They never took road trips. Today, we sleep in on weekends. We take long road trips. And only when completely things come to complete stop do we think about reaching for a lax. And what I'm trying to do is get people to stay on top of their bowels. I'm trying to liberate women particularly, but men also, to reach for a lax when things start slowing down. Stay on top of your bowels. Don't back off. And if you do, you'll find it takes less effort and you're getting better results. And the other thing about laxatives, particularly the milk of magnesia, Miralax, prunes and prune juice, is they work best if you take them every day. 
You don't walk up to a merry-go-round, give a couple good hard shoves to get it going, and then let it stop. No, you stay on top of that merry-go-round. You keep pushing, but you don't push as hard. Don't push as hard. And eventually, you're just tapping. And five or such a week lax is like tapping that merry-go-round. And you got to give it milk of magnesia or prunes or even an enema to get that speed up. And as it works faster, then you start backing off the laxative. Yes, I'm convinced that laxatives make the colon stronger. The book is uh, about the unmentionables. It's about gas. It's about bathroom odor. It's about urgency, people having to rush to the bathroom, lack of control. It's about everything that nobody ever talks about and how to solve those problems. And all this is tied into irritable bowel syndrome and reflux and this sort of thing. Uh, I'm trying to basically get the bathroom talk out of the bathroom uh, because all this portends illness and disease. It's a lurking problem. It's like blood pressure, if it's untreated, leads to bad problems. Cholesterol, if it's untreated, leads to problems. If we don't manage the constipation, the consequences can be catastrophic in terms of our health.